everybody. Today we're going to talk about starting your electric belt driven air compressor in cold temperatures. Now, ideally, you'd be able to plug it in directly to an outlet. But in this case, we don't have one nearby. We're going to have to use an extension cord. So I've made sure it's an extra heavy duty one. The next step is to make sure you've got either a 10W or a synthetic variety of air compressor oil in your air compressor. If you've never changed the oil in your air compressor before, simply drain it here and fill it here. Just make sure it's up to two thirds of the way up the sight glass. Now once you've got that out of the way, you're gonna wanna open up the cold start valve on the side of your after cooler and open up your tank release. Doing so will relieve any back pressure and any moisture that might be in your tanks. Now that you've got that done, turn this lever to the on or auto position. 